everybody. There it is. The truth is out there, as are we for this week's shit show. I'm Henry. I'm Brett. I'm Dave Scully. In case you're just joining us. Hey, yeah, I'm uh, Henry Mulder. Yeah. yeah. Hank Mulder. That's the one syllable thing. So this is the uh, Wednesday stream where we play a bad video game. <laughs> and Dave brought this one because we're also... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the the movies, uh, the new shows about to start. Yeah, yeah. X-Files. We're looking ahead to it by playing uh, probably the most comprehensive X Files game. But uh, I think, well, it's not even that. Both games are just kind of bleh. Oh wow, uh, shit! Uh, easy peasy. Hey, congratulations on a new job. Easy peasy. Uh, just said they got a new job today. Nice. Woo. All right. So and also hi, 90 humidifier aimbot and uh, juice caboose and all the rest. Let us know if this sounds how this sounds. Yeah. We've been working on the sound issue. We knew we had one yesterday. Uh, but, uh, fun yeah. fact: yeah, we didn't do anything. Um, but, uh, we are going to try a big defrag. We're not playing on uh, the MLG machine, so uh, mm -hmm. this is a legit PS2. We're using my save file. Yeah. Uh, wow. From 19 or sorry, 2004, a dozen yeah. years ago. Last time I played this game. Yeah, yeah. So this is a classic X Files type story with a cold open to a, and then a scary thing will happen. Apparently, we have a slight crackle. Mm. That might be the snow. Yeah. Or the all of the work being done outside. Yeah. Uh, Stacy Pro says Chris is the vaping man, as opposed to the cigarette smoking man. Hmm. <gasps> What's going on? I'll duck Whoa. out. I'll duck out for a sec during this opening, and I'll be right back. I'll go check this out. Okay. On, uh, somewhere else. Well, at least Juice Goose said it's not as bad as yesterday. You get a lot of sounds better there, yeah. Token Girl. Whoa! Wait till you're David Duchovny's uh, voice acting. He'll change your tune. This explosion's pretty awful. That baby just fucking flew out of her hands. It's a magic baby. No, it's not. Man. Poor Russia. They get all the bad luck. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> the black oil? Oh no. oh no! Oh, the black oil got the baby. Turn it down so just this, uh, so we don't plays. get knocked off. This is the full. This is the <laughs> opening to the X Files. Right X X X X Files. Yes, yeah, this is a PS2 Watching one. We're not playing the PS1 for one. Aliens. Uh, Drinky Dinks thinks activity. this looks like a syndicated '90s CGI cartoon. There he is, David. I'm surprised Duchovny. they didn't put like the CGI models in this. It wouldn't be the same. I just, yeah. I love how awful this opening looks with her, with her season one hair. Yeah. And that, oh, the flash. The, I saw somebody joke that this invented gifts. Right <laughs> it's true. Oh. It's true. Boy, it's so beautiful. Chris I, Carter had nothing to do with this game. It just reminds me of how classic the. That type of, of uh, conspiracy mindedness was back then. Ah, it's so beautiful. <laughs> uh, Bad Maniacs, I wish it was. I do. I did want to play that awful FMV game, but. 16 year old sister's oh, man. There he is. Caitlin Winslow. Twins. They disappeared from their stepfather's Red Falls trailer home two weeks ago, only to reappear recently. Coinciding with the mysterious deaths of three red falls. So, red where does it take place in the series? Uh, I think I between season six and seven. Okay. Uh, this was actually uh, after the episode where people cut off uh, Mulder and Scully's faces and affixed them to the. And, uh, now these are impo these are imposters, as you can tell, because they, they don't blink. And uh, I'm gonna, let's see if their chemistry comes off in this voice actor. Bud Smith is concerned about the twin safety. Are you telling me we're driving into a witch hunt, Mulder? If you want to catch witches, you have to go on a witch hunt, Scully. And I assume there's a reason other than one of the girls wears a pentagram to make you believe they both practice witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Those fingers in my hair, that sly come hither stare. Yeah, Do I have to the rest of the room? <laughs> <laughs> come on, Man. Scully, you know the um, I hope we don't get a uh, copyright strike yeah. for that. He's only <laughs> saying the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, the popping, we don't know why it's back, because it wasn't there in the other two test streams we did. Yeah, aliens. Including today. Oh, guys, I'm wearing a parody shirt of the Bullet Club that is the Banks Club for Sasha Banks. Uh, and that was me who tweeted about the X-Files gift, by the way. Oh, well, hey, you were very clever. No, it's not clever, it's just it wasn't someone, it was your All right. friend. I forgot, I read 8 million tweets a day, I forget. 
raise the dead and create killer zombies. I did review this back in 04. It was one of my first, it might be my first published review in a magazine. Uh, oof, boy, her movements. Oh, boy. The, the Hall of Presidents move better. Well, Baldur, stop. First screech. I technically wrote a review for this and that I wrote a review Whoa, what for the, the uh, GameInformer.com forums. Oh. Uh, I was supposed to do it for a fan site, but the fan site closed, and I'm like, eh, what do I do with this? And someone in the forum said, this is good, but it needs a lot of work. Uh, I don't know if you're cut out for basically saying I should. And that's why you stopped trying and gave up on being a writer. Are you okay here, Scully? Yes, hurry. This game doesn't look that bad, says Poop Coach. You haven't seen the actual gameplay yet. So, yeah, Dave, what's the deal with this game? It's uh, basically a Resident Evil clone. Now, if I was making a video game in the mid-2000s and thought on, I should make an X-Files game, me. I would think Resident Evil clone. No. Yeah. Because it... it. I mean, they're cut from the same cloth and whoa, timeline. Jesus! Uh, they are both about teams of a man and a woman who often get split up while investigating weird things. I'm a federal agent. Stay where you are. Oh shit! But this is also in a time period when Resident Evil wasn't doing anything, yeah. so it was ripe for a uh, copycat game. What are you shooting? This is uh, just about a year before RE4, and then the most recent one would have been like the Outbreak games were going at this time, but. Oh, yeah. I guess it's really only has like Resident Evil 3 to go on from them. Well, Veronica. Well, but, Veronica, yeah. But even is... that was four years before this, so yeah. someone could have been through high school. <laughs> yeah, that's what Chris Capel was, or sorry, that's what Bad Maniacs was just saying too, that it's a, uh, a very Code Veronica E, it seems. Yeah. I thought that game was beautiful when it first came out, like, but it doesn't look so good now, but. Uh, Scully, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah, the HD one that came out, like, it was benefited from the fact that uh, uh -oh. there were 3D environments, so they could actually touch them up a little. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, so when you play as Mulder and Scully, it's just like Jill and Chris, so they do have different campaigns that kind of maybe cross over at times but split. So Mulder goes into that building, whereas Scully has to do something else. But yeah. I, mm -hmm. I reviewed this in 04, so it's been <laughs> 12 years since I played this game. Uh, either this or the Mega Man Anniversary Collection was my first, uh, published magazine. I can't remember which one was first. Uh, Chris Capel says, oh, it's zombies. And not the cool Haiti proper style zombies from the Great Prison it's episode in season Haiti. two. I forgot that one. Where they fought yeah. Haitian zombies. Yeah. In, or the, the Haitian, uh, definition of a zombie. Uh, the DJ Dotto remix of this from, uh, Pure Moods. Uh, good, if not really random, given that that album has the Twin Peaks theme on it, mm. and like, I cannot see a thing. Yeah, let me, uh, the screen is, yeah, the game is itself dark, and then, uh, PS2 to Elgato to HDTV makes it basically, uh, you can see the white loading bar, mm -hmm. and Scully's chest, <laughs> and that's literally it. Okay, Easy peasy uh, says Scully so runs like she has an alien stuck up her butt. Yeah, it's weird. Uh... Whoa, what the? Scully, you all right? I'm fine, Mulder. I heard gunshots. The service mm -hmm. at JJ's leaves a lot to be desired. I'm guessing you had the same problem I did. The deputy had some kind of psychotic episode. I was treating him, and he... Died. Scully? I thought I lost his pulse, but he certainly wasn't dead while he was attacking me. Look, the front door to the diner here is blocked, but I want to take a look around back. Mulder, we need to find the sheriff, Bud Smith. Maybe he knows what the hell's going on. You gotta keep the camera know. very far away. I have to do mouth movements. Well before this place turns into the thriller video. I'll meet you at the show. Oh, what a comedian that uh, that Fox Mulder. Old spooky. I did do a next generation view, not a viewing order, but like mm. a if you wanted to watch only like ten episodes. So I could maybe try to put together an X Files one. Uh, because we posted yeah. the article about the fun episodes that are like experimental, and while those are good, they are they stand out because they are not the, ty the typical show, yeah. right. and they're not even like Monster of the Week in some cases. They're like Monster of the Week with a twist. Yeah, I mean, there's good, there's definitely good Monster of the Week episodes, but they are very complete. Of like, we got a monster this week, and they're chasing it. Like, yeah, I well, like it's, the, it's, uh, what it, the it gets a bad rep because it's not even Monster of the Week. It's just like. Because Monster of the Week is, like, kind of leaving out what most of the great episodes were, which is just, like, some supernatural phenomenon. Yeah. Rarely was it an actual monster. It was, like, yeah, Pusher. It's, like, here's a guy who has a weird power. Yeah. Or 
Well, you're somebody remembers Fluke Man yeah. as the actual monster yeah. of the week. There's Fluke Man. There's whatever is in the X Cos episode, which is itself a, a gimmick about looking like an episode of Cops. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, Aim Bob Master, this is kind of a deadly premonition prequel. And Chris Capella, yeah, I mean, one, two, and three, honestly, my those are harder for me to go back to than four, five, and six. Like six, I think they just got better at what they were doing and the acting up a little better. Yeah. The, Ooh. The casting. Mm. That character X. Oh, wow. Yeah, hey, no, that's, that's how he... That's, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, by now he would have been dead, yeah. Oh, he's way dead at this point. Or is he? Yes. <laughs> God, I'm supposed to find room six, but I can barely read the numbers on Seven? Him. Six? Boy, can you guys really hear what... Can you guys hear what's outside? Because it's really getting loud. Yeah, there's, they're they're building an entire, uh, I guess, a building made out of weights. Hey, this weights. looks like the uh, like in Bad Blood. Step away from the bed. Oh, not your this hands. part, but. Oh my God. Well, that jump up. I mean, that's totally the introduction of a. You might want to pull out your gun, Skull. Oh shit! Run. Fast. Well, Run, can you go through a door? It's the oh, fast shoot, zombies. You can. <laughs> well, it's also weird to see in a video game. Video games have to have shooting, but. How many times did they ever shoot their guns in the X Files? Like it was very, very rare they'd actually pull out a gun and shoot it. Mm, no. Yeah, Melakuya says I can't hear the building. Uh, Aimbot Master says you could have walked in on Hulk Hogan doing push-ups, <laughs> which would have been the most <laughs> horrifying thing to see. This, uh, this motel room is still not as bad as uh, most of the places I stayed for E3. Mm. Yeah, night humidifier. I miss searching for crop circles and wondering if the truth was out there instead of like, but what really happened in yeah. Benghazi, man? <laughs> it's just. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, by the way, doesn't it feel good that uh, I think his that Benghazi movie was a huge failure? Ben Michael Bay tried to make a Benghazi mm. movie. You guys didn't even hear about it. Well, I mean, oh, you I heard tried, about you it. did make it. I heard about it. Thirteen but hours. Don't want to see it. <laughs> uh, Sean Nelly asked if we play the point and click X Files game. I know Dave did. Uh, not that much of it, really. Let's mm. see. Gate box. Oh, that's right, but we're entered. Uh oh. So, if we're doing Resident Evil rules, you would examine the key. That is oh, an yeah. awful run animation. Yeah. I, I, do you think they really made polygon models out of these? I, I, no. Well, no, but it might, like, tell you. Oh, wait. Yes, hey, they Wow. wow. They were really, uh... See? Hey, hey, I like that they're following the rules here. But I bet you won't have the herb in this one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what I'm saying? The herb. What? herb. Well, for uh, Mulder, it's corn cakes. <laughs> Gatebox is one of my favorite 90s bands, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was their best song, Dave? Um, Hanging by a Moment? See, yeah, Phantom. The, the uh, big, didn't I didn't slide. play the. Uh, I didn't. I didn't play the point and click adventure X Files game either. But I remember being advertised as like, it's like you're playing the show. We film stuff with the actors on yeah. the sets. It is really weird to not be able to like. Point, whoop. Oh shit! No, Dave. That's a regular person. <laughs> uh, that's a, that'd be just like the introduction of Bad Blood, where uh, Mulder thinks he murdered a, like a oh, fourteen-year-old. There's another one. Where are you? The uh, kind of a, a suspense-killing thing that this game does. Anytime you kill all of the zombies in a specific area, that like that little X Files icon pops up, so you uh. know they're dead. And it's like that's half of the thing about Resident <laughs> Evil is like, wait, did I use enough bullets to kill this zombie? Yeah. I'll try mm -hmm. to walk by. Oh no, he bent my leg. I loved in Resident Evil 4 the first time they broke through. A, or sorry, in See Resident it? Evil the remake, when they first broke through a door, just to say like, yep, doors can be broken through now. Oof. See, I think the plot of this is it starts with, like, you go to investigate murders, like, they all start, <laughs> and then it slowly unravels back to you end up in Siberia, and you end up finding a black oil, and the the whole, uh, what was it, Tus mm, the Siberia explosion thing. Sukunga, whatever yeah. thing, yeah. That, that was actually <laughs> the alien colonists, and I think one of their ships is up there. I know Dan Aykroyd talked about that, and, uh, well, I guess really the character of uh, Ray talks about it in Ghostbusters. Uh, frankly, man is suggesting, Dave, that you kick them to death to save ammo. Is that a strategy, strategy in this as well? You can do melee, but... 
I, I know these skills in this game have deteriorated a little. I wanna. I guess they're following Resident Evil rules. Yeah, you would be able to melee them to death once they're down. Whoa! Shoot! Oh yeah, there was a there was a th the thing game around here, wasn't there? There was. Yeah, see, yeah. I don't like the melee just does that. Boom. <laughs> There's no. Uh... What are the street names? I'm curious. <laughs> Uh, unintelligible and unintelligible. A wax skin? I remember uh, one of the screenshots I took of this, uh, reviewing it. Uh, the gas was like a dollar seventeen at the uh, gas station, and I remember being like, oh, so "This is a great timestamp." Not very <laughs> helpful at all. I think that's what it is. Very silent hill. Yeah, it is. This is like ripped out of the page oh. of the. Look at all those bullets I got too. Vinyl, right? What the fuck is that supposed to be? A record store? <laughs> no one would have no record store. Uh, have a logo Stacey that Pro often. says in Siberia, Mulder Scully's you. Ah! Sure, a lot of zombies. Uh, Dan oh, has shit. a. Put your gun away. Whoa, what are you? Can you can you not like put it away and run? Danmar has oh, a question for us. What uh, tech are we running this on? I guess you have a uh, a lot of bullets. I think uh, this I is like off. We're doing this straight off of the PS2 with an Elgato, El ain't we? Elgato. It's El an Elgato El with the, the component uh, pass through thingy. Mm. Yeah, so you can only run if you uh, if you have. Well, you can't run when you have both the gun and right. the flashlight equipped, mm. which is kind of neat. I think that's a good. Uh, you kind of have to. I like, forgot which one you want to sacrifice. Uh, Fa now, Faison has that. an important point, or sorry, Phantom5692 had this important point that is, it's not like Silent Hills was using Silent Hills material. Like, Silent Hills was inspired by a lot of things too, so what's the problem with uh, taking some stuff from, uh, X-Files taking some stuff from Silent Hill? Oh yeah, and you can use, the, if, uh, the flashlight will also tell you when you found items. Can you not go into the hardware store? <laughs> I feel like I should, but uh, so I just uh, Chris Capel says, hardware. I remember playing this and I got quite far, oh, then we was stuck in a boss battle oh, on the bridge. Oh, those, those are episode names, aren't they? Oh uh, yeah, they totally the... are. Uh, it's also a tag teams, I think? <laughs> <laughs> At least one of them is. Welcome to the wasteland. Was it spelled Ascension? in the episode name or is it a typo on the street sign? I feel like that was around I remember that being on a list of things like in the when you started watching in the fourth oh Syzygy when you start watching in the fourth season they're like okay if you want to know what's going on you gotta watch uh Inoski or whatever and then you gotta watch Paperclip and uh Syzygy is the one with the uh like twin the twins that get psychic nice. powers when all the planets line up oh So the last thing you got was the key. Yeah. What did, what we got to find the Henry, Hen, a building that has Henry Dawson written on the door. <laughs> oh, my Night God. Nightly Midifier says, how many video games are based on Fox Television programming? And follow-up, why wasn't there ever a living single dating sim? All both important questions. I, think I, like, uh, I, I mean, Family I, Guy's got a game. I, uh, 24 out of game. 24. I beat it. The Shield. Uh, Alias. Alias. Was that Is that Fox? a Fox show? That's an ABC. Sheriff. Oh. Sheriff Smith. Sheriff, Sheriff, most generic name possible. This also speaks to mid two thousands game development of like, let's just spend the money and hire the right pe the people who did it. Now, nowadays they're just like, eh, who cares? Hire the sound like we don't care. Like, it's too expensive to get Kevin Conroy. Well, this get is like, Roger A. Craig Smith. Well, this is like at game. a point where both of them were in between doing their next notable uh -huh. things, so they, they weren't were, huge stars. Yeah. No. Really, a post-it note takes up just as much inventory space <laughs> as a gun. Or a flashlight. Contact. Bad Maniac says there was a Hot. homie the clown game. Was Isolate there? girls. <laughs> there was a homie the... Nah, this, was my, this is my hookup guide in high school. Uh, uh, oh, dude. Uh, I, just... I didn't talk to any girls in high school. Uh, Chris Cavell thinks Scully's doing the John Cleese silly walk. From uh, Monty Python. Oh, well, meanwhile, Bad Maniac says Scooby Doo Night of a Hundred Frights is scarier than this. By the way, when you go as like light on the bump stick as possible, their walks are just a bit too slow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Shouldn't be that slow. Weird. This does feel more like a Twin Peaks uh, game. Mm -hmm. I mean, outside of the zombies running around. But... Uh oh. Cutscene time. 
in game. This feels very Resident Evil. He took our job. Damn zombie bit me. Why do you fight me? <laughs> Goddamn Superman, come get me, witch. I'm an FBI agent. I need you to tell me anything you can about what's going on. I think on. they even got a cross in witch. You like that? Two evil witches. They're turning the town into. Uh, Brendel said, did Cosby write that note about isolating girls? Do you know where Sheriff Smith is? <laughs> oh, he's crazy. <laughs> uh, frankly, man, this game has a moral choice at the end where you choose between resisting or serving. <laughs> in game choices. Be the best good guy ever or the worst bad guy ever. There is no in between. You're making it very hard for me to want to save you. I'm going to get your medicine, okay? <laughs> could have done a second take on that. Her react like, you're making it very hard for me to want to save you. Instead, of, you're making it very hard for me to want to save here, you. I'm going to go to the... Here comes Slideshow Mail. <laughs> what do you say to do? I'm sorry. Get his medicine, get his medicine from the trailer park. Uh, Stop dealing dally and sweet cheek. Get over there. <laughs> Whoa, I'm in a boy's well, bathroom. That's not, that's not allowed. Daddy. She's oh, breaking all back. the rules. Ah, I bet that'll be important. Only for men, though. Well, will <laughs> paper towels will also be important? Never mind. We don't even have that anymore. They took all our bathroom. All that's bathrooms. in that first eight digits, Viagra and condoms. Uh, Chris Capel says, keep watching the skis. I mean, oh, skies. Oh, there the Jacko's trailer. Okay. Is that Jacko that I was talking about? Now? I have to assume no, so, like yes. Yeah. You know, in a game this dark, who can tell? The unsolved mysteries of unsolved mysteries. Oh yeah, there was a Futurama game. We could, we, that's also good too. Skyland Park, I gotta find. Mm. Oh wait, I gotta find. <laughs> Frankly, man says Resident Evil Four couldn't come soon enough. This is just awful. Well, it would take a couple of years before the re the advancements of Resident Evil 4 would even be you know, reflected in video games. Most probably couldn't handle it until, you know, Gears in 2006. They needed a whole new generation to finally do that. Yeah, it was like strange like a Miami Vice game on PSP that did that. Like, <laughs> like, pr like prior to Gears. So I've got uh, to go back randomly. to that uh, department store with a broken window and get some bolt cutters. Mm -hmm. And Funny how this, uh, though not stylistically, because this is like as dry as uh, the desert, but um, this reminds me of the uh, Resident, uh, sorry, the uh, Ash vs. the Evil Dead game we played yeah. on a previous shit show, because it's just like, you're in this big man. empty town, very nondescript, run from one place to the other and, and unlock doors. I think I just saw a ghost, guys. A newsstand hit. <laughs> so, uh, well, this is in 1998. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. These stays are going strong. Who uh, predicted it? How is the audio? Go. How is the audio, everybody? Did it get progressively worse? Are we chipping and cripping and cripping and crapping worse? Yeah, or we're very concerned about that. Or is it about the same? Or did it get better somehow? Well, half of this is just people talk uh, quoting that uh, X Files episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> it's jiggly. He's like a lava lamp. <laughs> All right, so I do love cheese. It. It's the feds. Oh, Chris Capel. I didn't know that. All the cutscenes from the. Uh, from the li the FMV game, were put on one of the DVD box sets as a lost episode. Oh my god, a really <laughs> terribly uh, produced lost episode. Yeah, it's, it's I I did I tried to load up on uh, that game on our MLG machine. It wasn't working very well, so that's why we're doing this one. Oh, and I think they were talking about Futurama. I do remember uh, that. From that Futurama. Yeah, so that was like yeah. a that seemed like a normal episode. I didn't really watch that much. Of it, I mean, it looked like shit. But the X Files uh, game, it's like they break like the like the what is it the 180 degree rule <laughs> like immediately. But uh, look, look that up in your film class, guys. But uh, yeah, that I I'm glad they made the street this long. I gotta find. Uh, let's see, where? Oh, well, she's down up to her shins in blood. Skyland, ugh. Skyland Park. Okay, so it's right next to the motel. Ugh. Whew, boy. All right. We were in the process of doing a defrag, but it was a a, donuts. a staggering nine-hour process. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, even though it was started at like 9 a.m., it was like this is not going to finish in time to stream. So we're frankly, man, has a serious question: Is this the game where Scully hallucinates and fights Nazis at one point? 
Uh, uh, if that happens in a game, I have to feel like this is it. Mm. <laughs> because I don't remember that, but it, uh, how many X-Files games are there? Uh, <laughs> Thrill as she walks, says Bad Maniacs. <laughs> yeah, uh, Brandolph says, I'm really surprised there was never a proper Twin Peaks game. Just play Alan Wake. It, yeah. it is it. It's like... It's the closest you'll ever get, and it's good. Or Deadly Premonition. They're honestly, it was funny they came out kind of at the same time in America anyway. Yeah. They were both just different takes on Twin Peaks that were both great and bad in their yeah. own ways. Uh, this is the first time we've used this Elgato but here, but I mean, I used it for over a year, and I mean, there's only so many settings on an Elgato, and I never had any problems with it. So... Mm. Any audio problems we're having is on an XSplit streaming side because it's something we've been trying to sort out and sometimes it happens and sometimes oh. it doesn't. It's been very oh, hard to nail oh, down. Man. Oh man. Work is killing me. Yeah. Yeah. Is that how you spell aspirin? Aspirin? Aspirin, yeah. My god. Her arms were amputated while she was still alive. Oh boy. She can't make that that's call, call without a Andrew. proper examination. Like, that's a lot of... Uh, oh, so by the way, you can see my last days were in two, uh, four. <laughs> Nice. Wait, when? 04? June? June. Uh, okay. So I finished the, the Mulder campaign in right. February, and then I had a ill-fated attempt to start. March? Wow. Yeah, and then June, I was like, hey, maybe I'll do the Scully campaign. Man. Nah. So where were you 12 years ago, man? Man, that had to be... This had to be my first review then, because I went in March, and as a magazine, they would have had it like a month before. That doesn't uh, make it. That time might have an important sense. question. How do we feel about the delay of episode eight till Christmas and out of May? That's fine with it. I'm fine with it too. Oh uh, well, it was actually once the film was over, I was like, "All right, I'll only have to wait 18 months for episode eight. I'm so excited now to find out it's going to be two years. It's kind of a bummer, but also Star Wars should just rule Christmas now. Like that should just be the Christmas oh. tradition of seeing it. I'd rather not see it surrounded by a bunch of other giant tentpole movies in the summertime yeah. i liked i liked being able to see it multiple times over christmas with family it was fun don't you think all right i think i got the code let's see 69 420 ah, damn it yeah. i thought that would work <laughs> wait 69 420 oh, okay hmm. yeah so i'm fine with it also they like the original plan for episode eight was that it was supposed to come out uh, in the in the summer and got delayed till Christmas because they needed more time. So if they did this to buy themselves more time to make sure it's a great movie. Worked out the last time. Scully's walking around alone in the dark. Boy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we did used to wait three years. So two years with uh well. Honestly, not even two years because we will have Rogue One in between. So, one year per Star Wars film. Also, uh, I'm going to talk about this on Cape Crisis, but the changing of that date caused another superhero film to be coming out sooner in 2017. Find out what on this week's Cape Crisis. Or, you know, Google it, but don't do that. Uh, Chainsaw Haxor asks, outside of video games, is there anything you guys are looking forward to this year? I mean, outside of video games, I'm looking forward to a lot more things than video games. But uh, I guess if you know what we're looking forward to in video games. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the Civil War film because I want to see Spider-Man mm -hmm. finally and Black Panther. And also, it, I mean, it looks like the Avengers 2 we really wanted. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that. After seeing that Suicide Squad trailer, honestly... Kind of looking forward to Suicide Squad now. We did do a uh, top seven on the most anticipated things of the that's year. That's true. Venture Brothers, though, that's like a week away now. Venture Brothers season S six. Same with uh, Lucha Underground season two. Yep. Ah, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, it seems like you're okay. This is the worst stun double I've ever seen. That's a dangerous pickaxe, though. Can I pickaxe you a question? Boo. Phantom 5692, at this rate, you'll be playing this game right. until dawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lucha Underground, Phil Kid 7, really looking forward to that. Also, um, oh, oh no, dude, man. Oh, he almost hopped you with a crowbar. How many, how many more bullets you got? <laughs> Give him a kick in. Melee him. I don't think melee works that well. 
Yeah, I'm on for Stone mentioning we're bad guys. It's what we do is a cringe-worthy line. Like, yeah. something about that line was just like, yeah, I don't need you to spell that out. It seemed too over, like... Well, this is a trailer introducing a ton of characters nobody has Right, I know. Heard of. And I mean, that's... It's whatever. Like, it's... Yeah. Not, I, I'm not worried about the whole movie because of that, but it was just like, god damn it, we know. Like, well, they're, they're, like the trailer... Well, ends with that when the trailer is all oh, about, like, yeah, they're all bad. They're all we bad guys. Them. Didn't we explain to you that they're all in jail? Like, that's where we got them, in a crazy then, prison. And then <laughs> words are just popping up on screen constantly, like, these bad guys are good, or these well, bad guys are no good. Look how bad the textures are on this... That's... Uh, that's incredible. But wow. this flag totally... No, oh, boy! Oh, it's boy. Yeah, let's get They're this flag. They're designing a trailer park. They gotta, they gotta put that in there. Well, get a good shot for yeah. it. The uh, <laughs> Gillian Anderson supports the Confederacy. No, mm -hmm. she's ready to burn it. I wish you could. Didn't know this was turn-based, says the, <laughs> uh, Jim Bob River. Oh. So despite, despite coming out oh, yeah, like he's got a new album. I'm, 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 uh, uh, eight years after the original, Re no, yeah, eight years after the original What Is an Evil, it still has the annoying. Uh, oh, camera uh, perspective change. Now you're fucked, and have to rethink your entire. Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, at least there's uh, the Not usual sound effect of like click, 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 click. Door would open. Turk or flurg, says Brandolph. That's another thing I'm looking forward to this year. Definitely, the um, doggies. I'm looking forward to Civil War II, the comics. I'm looking oh. forward to that. And uh, there's some other movies, oh. I think. I mean, Rogue One. Beer bottle. Is Michael Grimm in this game? Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's Chico's trailer. Chico's we trailer. did it. The game is over. Now I see. Ugh. The only survivor because he's built an immunity to every germ imaginable. <laughs> uh, oh, That's, uh, oh, she's funny. I've got almost that many beer bottles laying around my apartment. <laughs> really? Those are all Mountain Dews. Do the Dew trailer. What? Oh. Easy peasy calls this trailer park simulator. Oh, yeah. Uh, Daredevil is out this year. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Too. Daredevil with uh. Punisher in it. Like, oh, oh, man. Boy, oh, boy. Boy, howdy. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and I guess would Luke Cage be this year? Yeah, they're filming it now, so I guess yeah. it would be this year. And... Uh, JJ just got renewed for a second season, though I don't know if they'll have that out mm. this year. Probably looking and Doctor to... Strange. Yeah, I am looking forward to Doctor Strange. Mm. I, I wanted to name something that wasn't a superhero film, though, that I'm looking forward to. Oh, so she's got unlimited, she has unlimited uh, inventory. That's good Which at least. Is so I can hold on to these beer bottles. <laughs> Check his medication. Take his medication, see what happens. No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, some people are talking about 10 oh, Cloverfield so Lane. Sick. 10 that. Cloverfield Lane that they're really looking forward to. And Franklin Man says, You see what happens, Cloverfield? You see what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass? So you can't search these items, but... Uh, oh, look at that terrible ass one texture. <laughs> Got a dream catcher up there. Oh, yeah, the Olympics are this year, eh, Bob Master, aren't they? Where are oh they? Oh, my God, if I have to navigate away from these dogs in the dark. It would be oh, Summer shit. Olympics? Yeah, it's the summer ones. Yeah. Ah, and, of course, we're all going to be looking forward to the presidential election. Man, okay, what dogs. What is the end for Anderson? Why don't we just play it? Why, we could just load something else. Well, let's let her, let her go. Out. Let's see what happens. What? We, we can start the Mulder side. I guess. Yeah, we're already 30 minutes in. We should see the Mulder side. What, what kind of goofy you dead thing do we get? I can Dogs are like my least favorite enemy in every game. Yeah. Because I also hate killing animals. Well, they're just like, well, yeah, I guess because they're not even zombified dogs, right? They're just yeah. dogs. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? I'm not gonna let the. I'm, just let them kill you. Just let them kill you. I want to well, see what the dead side. Awfully generous. There we go. Ooh, and so ends Dana Skull. It's ironic side. that her dog died on the show. Yeah. Nah. Queek leg. That's it. That's it. You know, yeah. we get a "You Are Dead," man. Um, but yeah, man. Oh yeah, Hail Caesar! I'm really looking forward to that, Danmar. Yeah, that looks good. Star Trek Beyond. I'm looking forward to this year getting information about the show that'll be on <laughs> CBS. That's very interesting. 
Should I just go? I should, should I go to straight to Act Six? I probably should. I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, go straight to Act Six. Why not? But we won't have any uh, cool little intro scene like. Uh, so are we in Russia now? With credits and all that stuff. Yes. Wow. So they travel to Russia. In... I still feel like this Star Trek show will end up on TV because all networks want shit to fill their programming blocks <laughs> yeah. real bad. If they're making and it anyway. If you're going to spend this money and it's Star Trek and if it's good, if they don't, I will take that as a sign as something's not right. Whoa. Whoa. Scully, what are you doing? That's, uh, that whoa. sweater whoa. looks like shit. Yeah. This looks horrible. This fragment. The Decided to give her like a this huge muffin time. So. Did you see the way she Everything pulled up that circle. box? Like, did, did you see that she is made out of tank treads? <laughs> what more do you hope to find here? The oh. truth. Of course. Boy, oh, 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 oh. the Oof, truth. Boy, that looked uh, bad. Right. Want to survive the final boss? You start saving ammo now. Run into the small brick maze thing and kill the zombie by kicking it. <laughs> Night dehumidifier. It's not angry, Grandpa. It's dirty, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Grandpa, which, yeah, looks... Honestly, it looks fine, but uh, it stars... Um, Aubrey Plaza is, like, gr Dirty Grandpa's love interest. If you wanted to see Aubrey Plaza kissing all up on Robert De Niro, that's that movie. Yeah, I keep hearing good things about The Expanse, but I haven't watched it. I'm very curious. I need a good spaceship show. So, can this be played a two-player Dave, or... Is, no? Boo! Boo! Do the RE5 right. tag team moves. Why can't Scully uh, <laughs> suplex the two? I love those. Feel bad at having killed the, the uh, main character of Powder right there. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, you know, Powder, every time somebody mentions Powder, I have to mention that uh, the man who wrote it or, and or directed it is a convicted pedophile. Oh, really? Yeah. Makes you wonder why Powder hung out with all those kids in that movie. Uh, but anyway. Oh, boy. Uh, Stacy Pro brings up, uh, says that is a Cosby sweater, and I think the I think there'd be more designs on that sweater. Mm -hmm. Have some wide scully. When he did his perp walk, he didn't even dress up a little bit. Like it was just I don't know. He wore like the shittiest sweater he could. People are gonna see it, man. They're gonna see. You gotta when you're gonna get your you know perp stuff taken. You gotta get all dressed up like Bowie did when he got arrested for marijuana. Whoa, so scary! Whoa! Ah, yes, Aimbot Master, the Pee Wee movie. I am excited for that. And so I want to see. I want to see the um, the five-part O.J. Simpson doc they're doing Ooh. on ESPN. Thirty is this for thirty. An, is this an ultrasound what? of a? <laughs> yeah. What That's does that mean? Hmm. I'm looking forward to. Let me guess. To... This boat needs gasoline. Yep. <laughs> Holy crap. How did it? Yeah, of course. And looking forward to more uh, Broad City. Oh, yeah. yeah, Broad City. All my favorite uh, comedies coming back. Uh, what's her name? Jimmy, Kimmy Schmidt. Kimmy Schmidt, yeah. Breakable Kimmy Schmidt as well. More of that. More of a... Uh, Looks like... What other Netflix show did I flying off of his shirt. You yeah, yeah. Oh, well, when we, we tested it earlier, it's like there's weird artifacts yeah. flying off of his shirt, like he's covered in fleas. Yeah, yeah the farther away he goes, that that, that uh, the sweater uh, <laughs> gets even yeah. worse. Should be calling him Stinky Mulder instead of. Well, what Mulder. is the first thing you're supposed to be doing? Uh, uh, Phantom see. says nobody talks about OJ Simpson's uh, football career yeah, anymore. Yeah, I don't know why. See a barn, go inside the barn, kill. It. All right, go inside the barn. That's I watched. Oh, so one of my favorite things I watched on Netflix was the uh, documentary on. Hey, there's gas in there. Mm -hmm. Shoot it! Shoot it! Uh, the documentary uh, on the Buffalo Bills. We need a guess. Yeah, the, bu the Buffalo Bills lost uh, to four Super Bowls in a row. And the interesting thing in it is they have to show they show footage at the time, and so they have like 1993 play like uh, on field um, interviews with the team by O.J. Simpson, and you're just like, wow, what a like two years later, this will seem so strange. But here he is just interviewing the Bills about how they played the NFC Championship. Or AFC. AFC Championship. Mulder. Yes, yes, Scully. <laughs> Keep God, shooting. God, please him. use a use a single bullet. I don't know why I'm conserving. Like I'm gonna get to the end boss. He seems too far away. 
Uh, Dan Mar prefers the unbreakable Jimmy Smiths Kim. to Kimmy Schmidt. Well, you can't break the law. Oh, I am going to watch more of uh, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. I like the first episode I watched. And now Rachel... Uh, Rachel... Uh, Rachel Bloom, I believe her name is, the the, the writer director star oh, oh God. of the show. She's uh, she's getting a lot more press now since winning the Golden Globe, which is great. Oh, thanks, Victor Man, for hosting us. It's strange. Here's that can, sweet sweet can. Oh yeah, Angie Troy Becca does actually look pretty funny, Stacy. That Pro. show I had thought was completely different from what I'm hearing it is now. Like it's just a big spoofy show. Yeah, it's Police Squad, is, as they said. It looked like a lawyer show starring uh, Rashida Jones. Yeah, I'm Rashida like, Jones. Not interested, and then I'm oh, like, oh yeah, it's a big spoofy thing. I might huh. like yeah, this. Though I wonder. So look, there were many great comic actors in Parks and Recreation. Mm -hmm. She was maybe the least of them. I'd say uh, Mark Brandanowitz. Well, he doesn't count. He was he was there for the like well, two more seasons. like Brandana quits. <laughs> and that, that Aziz actually said that joke on the show. So. But anyway, no Brandanowitz sucks, man. Like okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> you can't use okay. the gas can on the gas tank. Okay, I know. Okay, I gotta Do you need, need a siphon? Funnel, I, I gotta go back to the car. Didn't you ever uh, siphon gas out of a parked car, Dave? Come on. Shouldn't have used the mint first. Uh, you ignored Scully. <laughs> she will remember that, says Harry Todd. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Rashida Jones point. has an awesome new song. That's great. I love Rashida Jones, but I think she... Ann Perkins wasn't her best role. She was much funnier on The Office, I thought. And what, she ended up with Rob Lowe's character, which is just like, uh... Yeah, well, it, that felt just like, well, we got a couple of these guys together. They're both leaving. Ah, used uh. crowbar. There we go. See? Ah, now you See? Go. So now I've got to put this up, uh, up Scully's nose. With a rubber hose. Like Rashida Jones. Randolph, she's okay. She's alright. It was a very long time before I realized Rashida Jones was the daughter of You gotta Quincy combine. Jones. Yeah. There you go. You have a completed ah. gas pilfering device. Alright, now you got a full gas can. Let's get on that boat. I thought there's like no custom. Wait, hang on. Go back to that body. That straight up looks like Thor. <laughs> what? Like the blood looks like a cape. Oh. And oh. And his <laughs> fucking helmet. Uh, wow. Lazy peasy, y'all watch that video later. I don't know this song about 80, 90s nostalgia. Oh, we Do did. Have to boat needs fuel. Use fuel on the boat. God, that theme song keeps coming in every time you go to the menu. Uh-oh. Uh, this uh, uh, idea game fact says the game's about to get hard, which uh, means in 2016 it's going to be near impossible. <laughs> yeah. We're used to babify it. Baby I, I can't see the bottom, Scully. Neither can we. Hey, this predates Resident Evil 4's boat trip. Oh, what the... Jesus. What? What happened? Uh oh. That looks like a face. I got a uh, slanted camera angle. That's a bit like they would have done on the show. Uh, of course, they had to get separated. Yep. And the Scully part of the game, you get to do a great sub. Uh, <laughs> Rats. Is that a possum? Mulder. Mulder, I know you're in there. Uh -oh. I check it. Really, Crycheck's in yeah. this? Yeah. Where are you, Crycheck? Huh. Oh, I'm close. I'm so close. I know exactly where you are. Why do you have to kill the rats? The lightning. Show yourself. Apparently, I can kick them, but I'm looking in the instructions, and uh, it ain't saying how. Crycheck died at some point, didn't he? Yes. This is between uh, I think six and seven, because the uh, the um, lone gunman are all ah! <laughs> rats. I ain't dying. To rats. I can't believe I... this. How can you even see rats? It's my favorite uh, Guitar Hero song. Even see rats? Great zombie Jesus, says Bad Maniacs. Is this the voice of God, asks Phantom. This is God, Free Jones, <laughs> of the TV show Rock Bottom. Oh, Iron Bat Guy, the, the disaster artist comes out this year as well. I do look forward to seeing oh, that. Oh, wow, yeah. 
Uh, frankly, man, it's an Orthodox church because he's in he's in Russia, yeah. uh, where the Orthodoxy Orthodox yeah, Christianity is alive and well. Well, God, every time you go to that menu, it's just like Mark Snow, Mark Snow. <laughs> Mark Snow gets paid. Mark Snow gets a dollar. Mark <laughs> Snow gets a dollar. Oh, Every time you go to the menu, Dave, uh, we get flagged for another nickel. So oh, Alchemy Fun's no. telling us that the audio is not starting to it's starting to degrade again. Oh no. Uh oh, it's the aliens. They're encrypting our speed. The government doesn't want you to see, man. They got the signal's gotta get out. I don't know why I'm saving. Yeah, why are you? Don't save over your two thousand four save code. Oh, oh, oh. No. I can't believe this, this game can actually recognize the year 20. <laughs> I am kind of surprised by that. <laughs> you should all be dead by now. Well, by x file standards, we should all be colonized at this point. Yeah. Your save on no, no, no. Well, I don't uh, know. It I'm seems gonna... after 45 minutes the audio degrades. It did a lot earlier than 45 minutes last time. Yeah. I mean, maybe we, we should just do another five minutes of this and Yeah, we could cut it off because it'll, it'll only get worse. Yep. Not going to get any better. Seems like we should do a defrag. Then you tonight. know what would be scarier than all these empty rooms? What? Anything. Anything. Well, those wraps are pretty spooky. That was a line in the, uh, the Simpsons Halloween it special. Was. It was. like my favorite line of almost the whole show. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? Whoa, oh, what? damn. You're... Jesus. What? The... We can't even see what it was. And that was scary. Was it the Flukeman? The Mothman? Alright, I gotta... I'll probably just get destroyed again, but, uh... <laughs> Brendolph blames the lizard people. <laughs> Man, he is great in, uh... Is he in... Jose Chung? Yeah, he's in Jose Chung. Man, he is Alex Trebek. Him and Alex Trebek. They are good. Jose Chung, just watch that episode. The Charles Nelson Riley, who only played a clown and an idiot his entire life. <laughs> Play such a great uh, he's still uh, straight it role. Like some of his reactions when like Scully is telling him things like. <laughs> 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 eh, he seems like a Stephen King type though. He's right. good at that. Maybe I'm not supposed to go out there. Shotgun, man. I don't have a fucking shotgun. Ooh. <laughs> God, that's deep. Uh, yeah, Brendolph, Hellboy is still the worst thing we've played on this so far, I'd say. Wouldn't you say that's the worst, Dave? Yeah. Go to our YouTube page and watch it and see how bad it is with the, uh, the vomiting and the, uh, and throwing old ladies out windows. <laughs> that was pretty great, actually, but, uh, I think it's hard for any PS2 game. The worst PS2 game can't be worse than, like, the 18th worst PS1 game, right? Uh, life will find a way. That's quite a skeleton key there. Yeah, I wonder what it's for. I'm not gonna tell you at all. That's not the way keys work. That's weird. I like getting at least like. This guy's just gonna shoot me again. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Was it a. Dude, was it a guy with a gun? Oh. Oh! Got him. Did I think humidifier wonders if the profits oh, of this game. Oh, it was Crycheck. Oh! He's got a. A kick. I'm just like inchy squinching up to him. I don't want to get shot. <laughs> Quite an angle. Uh, and annihilated. Come, come. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> really? Sorry guys, our mics are starting to go bad. Right now, retribution is a close second to the Hellboy. Is he punching himself in the butt? If somebody wanted to buy us Devil's Third, I'd play it, but I'm not. Uh, it's actually like, if you find us um, a, a physical copy of Devil's Third, like, those are kind of scarce now. For well, American you know who. Do this, but you know I want to. Uh, who played this game? Where is. What is. Are you being shot? Who can say? Yeah. What is being shot? I think shot? some bullets would show up somewhere. You've got blood on your nice sweater, though. Whoa. Get out of here. What if you just, like, power run all the way up to the top? Well, I don't want to get shot. I can't we have nothing it. to lose right now because <laughs> the stream is basically almost over, so. Come on. 
They should have called this Darkened Sky. Yeah, oh, that Skittles game? The Skittles brand game? The Skittles brand game with R5, Joe Moderera. Oh, wow. That's oh, boy, it. loading time. <laughs> I think this is a good place to end it. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my right god. There. What is this? Oh, oh, no, oh, man, he looks bad. I should kill you where you stand, you sick <laughs> pussy bastard. Alex is going to pay for what he's done. He wanted to kill you, not me. He deceived me and tried to take something that doesn't belong to you. And it belongs to you? God, he's like a like a Chuck E. Cheese doll. Like we're all puppets I of the government. Literally, look at us. I am a cigarette smoking man. It's real. You know what's down there? There's alien life in that ship, waiting to be reawoken. What have you done to me? I've opened the door for you, Fox. The path is yours to take. That cigarette isn't even the right size. But to reach the end, you must listen to this advice: resist or serve. <laughs> Ooh, oh boy! I got the titular line. Wow! Cashing those checks. So uh, is that the end of the game? Uh, no, not even close. But yeah. now you have magic a powers. Bunch of shit but it was pretty. Uh, all right, let's just stop. Yeah. But it, it's pretty crazy at the time to even see Mulder in the same space as, as Cancer Man. They rarely were ever seen together. Actually, let's let's close out with the start of that uh, behind the scenes thing where we get to watch. Uh, oh boy, special features! Yeah, this is great. Uh, so when they record footage uh, back in this day, back in the day. Uh, they would have the actors uh, wear lipstick. All right. Oh, whoa, really? Yeah. I haven't seen this. All right, so enjoy this. Uh, we are Laser Time. We'll be back tomorrow with an Nintendo stream. Yep. Bye-bye, and the truth is over there. Yeah, I'm going to put this on eBay. Can you imagine what this is going to bring? <laughs> what? Careful. Careful. Careful application. You don't want to have to do it. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, wow. All right. This is the character of cigarette smoking man. Yeah. Makes voice acting like a pretty yeah. cushy job. All right. Uh, let's let's head out. Bye bye. Bye everybody.